What's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. I'm over here working on the uh, PSA 10,000 Club thing for this week. It's taking a little bit more time this week. So a lot of numbers fluctuate, a lot of numbers. But I want to do something a little bit different here every maybe two, three months. And it's in no particular order. And if I miss you, I will get you on another one, I promise. Um, these are just some channels I watch or, you know... Um, want to give a shout out to in a way because they might be new to YouTube and everything. You guys could check them out if you want to sub to them and all that stuff. I'll put all their links in the description so that way you guys can check it out. So up first, AJ. He comes into the chat pretty frequently whenever I do the uh, sales and everything like that. And tonight, I believe it's 4 p.m. Eastern, he's having his first card sale. Um, from listening to the video, I believe it's everywhere from like a dollar to five dollars stuff. I'm not too sure if he's going to do anything higher than that. Looks like he's trying to clear out some inventory. So if you're interested in that stuff, go by, check him out. 4 p.m. Oh, I'm sorry. 4 p.m. Pacific time. Pacific time. 7 p.m. Eastern time. So channel number one there. The Bullpen. You guys used to know him as CVC. He changed his name. Um, most of you guys are probably already subscribed to him on to there. He's been doing a little bit more content this year. He's been opening up a lot of boxes, doing a PSA, SGC, Beckett reveals and everything like that. But you guys see him from, uh, overtime. So I'm not going to go a whole lot into it. If you guys aren't subbed and want to check him out, go ahead down there and check him out. All right. Hobby Collect Invest. He actually has a different name when he comes in the chat, so I didn't know about this channel until he sent me an email. Um, his videos are very, very well done. I mean, from the technical standpoint, very, very well done. Um, I'm still trying to get the hang of this stuff. He does some openings, talks about uh, PSA, stuff like that, crossing over submissions. Some really good content across the board. I'll go into the videos here. Here you guys go. He's been doing... Pretty good here, I mean, with them. It looks like a couple of weeks, so that's really good when you start finding somebody that's doing a couple of videos a week for content. Um, but you guys can check him out. I don't know if he wants me to give up his other name in the chat or not, so I won't do it. But you guys can check him out. Rattle Pokemon. A lot of people are probably like, what? Who's this dude? If you're into Pokemon, I mean, you have like Poke Rev and all these dudes out there. This guy here is getting a lot of traction because he was one of the very first people to talk about the Logan Paul fake case and going through it and all that stuff. But if you're into Pokemon and you don't know about this guy, check him out. The videos are entertaining. Um, and it, it, there's a lot of different things you can get into. But I've been watching him and a couple other guys trying to get my Poke knowledge up. I don't know if that's how you say it or not. But pretty cool. So if you don't know about uh, Rattle Pokemon, check them out. Uh, a lot of these guys I don't know. I just watch them. I know who they are type deal, just so you guys know. Minus like Joey from the bullpen, AJ comes in the chat. Um, Hobby Collect comes in the chat. Any different name. Rattle Pokemon's never been to the channel, but he has good content. Very good content. Lootbox TV. If you guys are into more high-end openings, mostly of football and basketball, and haven't checked these dudes out, they are from Louisville. No, I don't know them. But what I can tell you is they started off in like the Pokemon, I think Yu-Gi-Oh part and moved over into the sports cards the last couple years with their videos. They open up some pretty big stuff out there. So if you're just interested, I think they do about four or five maybe videos a week and just box openings and stuff. And I know they started gotten something new here coming up with something on an app. I can't remember the whole thing on to it. A lot of times when I'm wa even watching the videos, I know it sounds bad, but I'm listening to them as I'm doing other work. But they got a pretty good channel offhand. It's something I started to look at, these things called shorts. I'm going to start figuring out these shorts things because they look pretty cool overall. All right. And speaking of shorts, this is where I first saw them at. A League of Our Own. They come into my chat underneath a different name as well, too. Again, I won't give that out unless they want to get that published out there. But she does a really good job opening up a lot of baseball and everything on to here. And 
Her name is Adrian, because I know she says it on here. But opens up a good bit of stuff on there for content-wise. Does some PSA, some different reviews of products, such as like the slab cases, stuff like that, I've noticed. Very engaged in her chat on her comments, too, that I noticed, which is always a good thing, because I like to see... People who are engaged, I know it's really hard to probably hit every comment you get out there, but if you're batting like 50 or 60% of your comments and you have like a huge following, that's kudos in my book. It really is. But yeah, she does really good work on to the thumbnails and everything like that. Content's entertaining and everything. And I knew there was something she hit me on me about. I need to get back to her card giveaway challenge type deal because all the negativity has been going on last month. Well, since the beginning of the year, she's trying to bring some positive stuff out there. So if you guys get a chance, check out that video right here. She talks about it. A couple more yet. Natsman72, you guys see them in chat. Let me go. Here we go. So a lot of different videos and everything out there from really ranging from everything from like Mail days to where he's doing lies with people. He goes, does his uh, lies, his submissions. It, it, he does a lot of stuff with the channel overall. And you can see, I mean, he doesn't really, he posts some uh, here pretty thick, but I know a lot of people slowed down from like November and December just because of holidays and family stuff. But he has a lot of good information on to here. If you start listening to this stuff, a lot of the coffee talks and stuff. I was trying to remember what it was called for a minute there. I had to scroll down. But a lot of the stuff I used to just listen to when I was at work, um, just because there's a lot of information, it flows out there. And like I said, information's free if you can find it out there. And there's some good stuff out there. So you guys check him out as well, too. Up next, the Nor Norwegian. You guys may always hear me call him Magnus. I know he's changed his channel a few times. I honestly didn't know he was back to doing videos. Uh, he comes out with some good stuff. Um, the gaming stuff, very good graphics and entertainment part on the videos and everything like that. He go, he'll do pickups. Occasionally he'll open up some boxes. Just open up something with hockey. I don't even know if it's still up here or not. I know occasionally he just takes some of his videos down too. Just because he doesn't want to clog it up. But, guys, check out his stuff. I mean, it's really good stuff. I mean, especially when he was doing a lot of the video games with, or the videos with video games in, the older stuff. It was really interesting because you got to go back to my childhood and, I mean, stare, look at, like, Nintendo stuff. I know you didn't do Atari and Coleco, at least to my knowledge. But you start thinking about all that stuff. Last but not least, Greg from North Coast Baseball Cards. You guys will see him in a chat a good bit. And he does a lot with, I'm going to flip this down, a lot of PSA reveals, a lot of different box openings. Um, you'll see like the Bowman Draft Light. I know he does Sapphire. He likes Sapphire like me. I know Greg's a Sapphire addict like me. Uh, the, the Montgomery Club with what he gets in from it. I still kick myself for not getting into that. And, I mean, it's really some good stuff. He's pulled some crazy hits last year. Uh, that Mike Trout gold auto, I believe that was a Ben Baller, if I recall right, uh, from the Ben Baller, what would they call that? I think it was Topps Chroma did it that year. Maybe it was Bowman, one of the two. Uh, I'm trying to keep straight with all these products anymore. It just really gets to me. Uh, just so much coming out. Does a lot of videos, so you guys check him out as well, too. All right, that's the last one I have. I didn't want to go through like 50 I'm on here. But what I want to do is a little bit something different for uh, this year. And probably about a quarterly, I'm just going to go through and talk about some of the channels that I watch or people that I know out there. If you guys are interested in them, you can go on their channel, take a look, give them a sub, watch their videos. It's all about growing out there. And I do realize, you know, starting off with YouTube is very, very hard especially when you start looking at like sports cards overall it's a very small group compared to when you start looking at a lot of the other niches out there i mean it, it, it's hard and i know we were talking a bit about this uh in overtime and a lot of my subs came when i used to do ebay breaks and was a breaker because when you're breaking stuff you're gaining like 20 30 people per break that weren't weren't in there you know probably before then people watching because the more people you have in your lives you guys understand and the more comments 
you know, the more that <coughs> YouTube will push your stuff out. I'm trying to see where I put my bottle of water. I'm down here cleaning up and mailing stuff out. And what you know, oh, there it is down here. But uh, it, it's crazy with the YouTube algorithm. And, you know, just getting your content out there to people, it, it's a tedious task. It really, really is. At times, you get frustrated um, onto it. You know, with the YouTube channels, a lot of people talk about, what is it called? Monetization. And believe it or not, it's not like real big money into it at all when you get monetized with 1,000 subs, 4,000 watch hours, and all that stuff. Um, when you start looking at that stuff and you start seeing, oh man, this dude's making like thirty, forty thousand dollars a month. Yeah, but he's in a totally different platform. Like, he, I'm not talking about Mr. Beast makes millions, but um, some of the other people like that making tens of thousands of dollars. I mean, it's just with what they're doing with their content, where sports cards. You know, if you get a video that over say a couple years makes a hundred dollars in revenue that's pretty successful in my book i mean offhand but like i said i wanted to give a, a shout out to these channels if you guys don't mind check them out uh don't forget aj is live 4 p.m pacific time i always wanted to say eastern there uh from what i do remember in the video is like dollar to five dollar cards he had some relics and stuff like that there uh if you're looking for bigger stuff you might be able to twist his arm a little bit too to get some of that stuff onto it but again i'll be doing these probably every quarter or so uh going through some of the channels onto here it, to me i do this quarterly because i'll go through and start looking at channels where i never see the person comment never come into lies don't see any videos i just you know i unsub from them just because the content's not on there anymore and i just you know why keep joining to a channel that has nothing going on on to it? But all right, everybody, you guys have a great Sunday. I'm going back to doing the PSA numbers. I got a few things I got to load up into the store, and I'm working a soccer piece on to it. The coding piece, for some reason, is not working, but I'm going to figure it out uh, hopefully this week. And then I plan on hitting a show up in Salem, Indiana on Saturday, weather permitting. So if anybody's heading up to that, just let me know in the chat. Maybe we can meet up, uh, go around, hit the tables up, see what we can find, stuff like that. Now, if you're setting up there and I already know you are, you don't have to hit me up. <laughs> I already know because there's going to be a couple guys I know uh, going up there to set up. Um, looks like they have 50 tables. It's already sold out and everything. Then I got Louisville the following weekend. All right, guys, take care. Have a good Sunday. Enjoy Pro Bowl, and I'll catch you guys later this week with some more videos.